let's go through our two early waggle edition of the oh. CFL awards. Let's start with M O P. Your choice is whom? Come on, man. You're going to ask me that question. You know very well. I'm going with my guy. AJ Ouellette. That's not, nope, not at all. No? Not at all. You're, very I, close, I, I was, You're very close, though. I thought You're very close. I thought you were. You're very close. Okay. But I'm going with the guy at the helm, Chad Kelly, which, surprisingly enough, hasn't had a dog of the week. And everybody says, you know, kids being biased and all that. He hasn't had a dog of the week. But I love his progression. I love his growth and his maturity process that he's been experiencing throughout the course of this season. I mean, DB, we just went through probably what the most valuable game that we've played this season last week. When we went to Montreal, I think it was great to get the W. You go out there, you get a W. But the most important thing out of that game wasn't just the win to me, DB. It was the way that we won that game, the adversity that we had to overcome. And in a game that Chad himself didn't necessarily start too well, he wasn't playing his best football. He he even told me this. I shared this with him on the flight in Club Dub. I said, Chad, that was one of your best games. He said, what are you talking about? Enoch? And I shared with him exactly what I'm telling you right now. The manner in which we won that game in a game where I wanted to see. I needed to see Chad Kelly play bad and really get himself out of a bad game. And he did just that and was able to rally the troops and bring the team back and give us an opportunity to win. And obviously leaving in, in – I was about to say it has, but in the foot of Boris Beatty and obviously made it count for us. But Chad Kelly, to me, right now is a front runner. Run away for MOP. Yeah, no, he's not running away with anything. <laughs> uh, because AJ like, could be in that conversation with all of his angry runs. But let's just look at the numbers. Zach Claros is putting up better stats, not only arguably than what he did a year ago when he won the award, but what Chad Kelly, more importantly, is doing right now. Take a wild guess who the leader in the league in passing yards is. I'll tell you who it's not. Who is it not? Chad Kelly. That's fine. But who is leading the league in record? <laughs> Which matters even more. That's a team award. We're talking about the most outstanding player. And it stems not from the most, most valuable, outstanding collection outstanding of players. Player. Zach Caleros, uh, since you did not ask, is leading the league in passing yards. Take a wild guess who's leading the league in passing TDs. Tell you who it isn't. Who is it? It's not Chad Kelly. It is Zach Caleros, who has a cool 10 more passing TDs than uh, Chad Kelly. And how many times did those touchdowns help him win games? But you can keep going. I mean, I think touchdowns always help you win games. Not enough, evidently, this year. I mean, so uh, someone has a defense that... that Scores quite often in, in Chad Kelly, so that helps. You know, uh, uh, tell me who, in terms of qualified starters, who leads the league in QB rating. I'll tell you who it's not. Who is it? It is Zach Caleros. In terms of playing the QB position, no leadership, not intangibles, just being the best, essentially, offensive player who touches the ball every snap, because that's essentially what this award has become, unless you're Speedy B, it has been Zach Kalaros. And I'll ask you one more question. Talk to me. That uh, I expect an honest answer. You talk about the record all mm -hmm. the time. 11 and That's one. what matters. It, oh, 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 it does. If you were to take Zach Kalaros, pick him up, move him to Toronto, and drop him in the Argos locker room and said you were the starter for the rest of the year, and you took Chad Kelly and you moved them to Winnipeg and dropped them in the Bombers locker room and said, you are their starter for the rest of the year. Are their goals worse? Uh, look, look, you're talking about some 1A, 1B. No, I don't think they're worse. I, I don't think, think, I I just don't think need, the Winnipeg Bombers are worse either. I just need a I yes actually think or a no. I'm going to give you. This is what they pay me for. So to give you. <laughs> we, well, I asked, I asked producer Pete about a, a fantasy football trade. Okay. And the rest of the league can reject it or accept it. To make sure the trade is fair. If that trade happened in the CFL and the rest of the CFL owners, GMs, could accept it or reject it, they would reject it. Because they would fear that the Argonauts, who are already the best team in the league, just got better. Maybe not in the long term, because Chad Kelly has more term on his contract. But in a short sample size, Zach Caleros still gives a team the best chance to win. And, and for that very reason, I would even think 
DB, that the Winnipeg Blue Bombers would gladly make that trade. They would be willing to do that just because of the simple fact that I do believe that if Chad Kelly goes to Winnipeg, he is going to have an impact on that team, rejuvenate that team, and really extend their reign as well. So not only good for now, but for the future as no, well. No, but that's not the – that's not the you missed the point of the exercise. That's not – you're the, talking about the impact that each no, other no. would have on, on the other team. You're talking about the most outstanding asset, and that would be Chad Kelly and his contract at his age. The most outstanding player thus far in the 2023 CFL season has been Zach Close. Now, have some things broken down around him so that they didn't have the same amount of team success? Is, again, his team bored? Yes. But is Zach Claro still the best player in the league? Yes. And... I, and one more thing. I'm not going to allow us to do to Zach Claros what we've done to LeBron James and Michael Jordan. Where we just get bored of the greatness. And so we say, oh, we don't want to give them an individual award. We've seen them win it again. So we need a new narrative. We need to new somebody else. No. Zach Claros is one of the greatest of all time. He is still the greatest in this time. Give this man his flowers. I mean, look, nobody's taking anything away from Zach Lawrence. I mean, you're taking his MOP away. I'm taking that MOP away because he doesn't deserve it this particular year. He's definitely deserved it over the so years. So what does he need to do? More passing yards, more passing TDs, better QB rating. What, is, what, is, what else does he need to do? He needs to do backflips no. when he throws? I just need you to remain at the same level that you've been playing. When we're talking about greatness, so, consistency no, is no, extremely no. important. You're penalizing no, 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 him. No, 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 You're no. You're penalizing him against himself. When Steph Curry wins unanimous MVP, that if he's good the next year but not at that level, if he's still the MVP, he's still the MVP. Zach Kolaros is still the MOP. He's also the MVP, Steph Curry, Zach Kolaros, or Chad Kelly because – he allows his team to play at that very level. He allows his team to be at the top of the top. You don't just become the best, the, the MOP, because you're the best player on the worst team. He's not. And on the, nothing to say about Winnipeg. I don't think they're, they're he, the worst team. He's not on the worst team. He's, you're acting like this man is in sixth or seventh or eighth. They're, they're in second. They're in second. I'm going to ask you. One last question. I don't think you asked me a between question. I've been asking you all the questions. The just one. Between the two. Yes. Who has thrown the most interceptions? In your opinion. <laughs> it's not an opinion. It's a fact. Uh, Zach Claris has thrown more interceptions. That's correct. You, I'm sure you looked at that, but you didn't he's, want to use that, did you? Well, he's also, it's a larger sample size. He's thrown the ball more. Oh, my and, goodness. And, and, and he's also pushed the ball down the field more. I don't want to hear that, but Zach Listen, Claris has sent 13 interceptions compared to nine. For Chad Kelly, he's making fewer mistakes, thus allowing his team to win more. And that's the bottom line. That's what matters the most. You say this all the time, DB. You're here to win and win now. I don't want my guy at the helm, my MOP, to make as many mistakes as Zach Lawrence has made this year. Still a good player. A couple things. One is that interception number is trending up for Chad Kelly. Two, congratulations. You haven't thrown interceptions on the bare wide receiver shuttle screens and running back satellite motion pop passes that's not that his count fault. as passes. That's not his fault. He's executing the plays that are being called. It's uh, plays where it's that's almost... Not, look, you're it, not going to punish Chad Kelly because play, uh, uh, Ryan Dinwiddie is calling these plays. I'm not going to punish him, but I'm not going to congratulate him either. Plays where it's almost impossible to throw an interception, hence why they're called. Listen, I think it's smart. You're no, protecting no, no, a young no, 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 don't do that. from don't himself. Do that. Bruce Pete, next week... We're going to start breaking plays down because I saw not just some bad, not just some bad. I saw Zach Kolaris made some bad decisions on some throws. So it's not just about the play call itself. I saw him make some bad decisions as well. And so when I'm looking at these two guys and I'm looking at a MLP, especially when it comes from to when we're talking about oranges and oranges, quarterback and quarterback, I'm looking at who's making those fewer mistakes. Sure. There's even some notes that Beyonce doesn't hit, <laughs> but she's still the one. That's very right? rare. That is very rare. Is very Ask rare. everybody who went to her concerts. I didn't go to it, but you can ask. <laughs>